Good morning, dear students. So today, through Jatika Pasila program, we are going to discuss actually almost the last uh, test number, test number 16th question. Actually, this is a question where you need your writing skills mostly. So here, we are writing an essay based on a given topic. So today our lesson basically is helping you in writing a good essay. So building up an essay is, go, is kind of a difficult task for our students that what we gather from the students' responses. So in helping you in building up a good essay, today we have Mr. Ranjit Hemachandra with us to help you in this particular topic. Mr. Hemachandra, Thank good you. morning to you. Good morning, dear students. Good morning, Sindra. Uh, today, I am going to discuss with you how to build up an essay, or we can call it even a composition at your level. Uh, so today, we have selected a topic that is bad habits. You can see it on the screen. So let us see how to write something, how to build up certain sentences on this topic. Dear students, for this task you must have some facts. Eva Inglisi Waki will at a comatio dan Nikila Tamai Utsaga. But Mama Singla Basa would take a doing at your dagan at a balapurutu in a make a visterka and a cotamaka the butter, Padri Venetone, me vaganti, good and agani comatakila. So, dear students, let's start our task because this is very important and you will find it very interesting uh, when we uh, discuss this with you. So, Bad habits is our topic. Uh, dear students, now we have habits. What are habits? So habits are the, we can say the things we have got used to do. Sometimes uh, involuntarily, without our knowledge, we may be doing it. So we have good habits and we have bad habits. So today we will be talking about bad habits. Now, uh, bad habits can be uh, considered in two ways. One thing is we can say body related bad habits and the other one behavior related bad habits. Andrea, how can we identify bad habits? In what manner? Me. As? Body related bad habits and behavior related bad habits. Yes, as behavior related bad habits and body related bad habits. So first of all, let us talk about body related bad habits. That means using our body, we may have we may do certain things without our knowledge. We call them sometimes involuntary actions. We do it involuntarily, without our knowledge. We don't know that we are doing it, but sometimes we find that we are doing it. Therefore, now let us discuss some of them. Right, before that, let us see, now you know that when we write an essay, we must have an introduction for this. So. We must have the introduction about bad habits commonly. Now you can see a very short introduction on the screen and let us read it. I'll, I, I would like to ask Andrea to read that part, only the introduction part. Yes, Andrea, can you read this? Many people have bad habits. A bad habit is a negative behavior pattern. There are two types of bad habits, namely body related bad habits and behavior related bad habits. Now you can see how we have constructed the sentences. Many people have bad habits. A bad habit is a negative behavior pattern. 
not a positive behavior pattern. There are two types of bad habits, namely body related bad habits and behavior related bad habits. So that is the way we can start it. Now let us we discuss the body of the essay. Pengapi me essay ke madhya kotasa obata kohamata tanagan ke la balam. Right, we are going to talk about this part. First one, biting nails. Now you have seen sometimes some people have got used to uh, this habit. You know it is disgusting sometimes. And many people don't like it. Now sometimes you have seen people biting their nails. Sometimes they may be at a meeting. Sometimes a student may be in the class listening to the teacher and they may be biting their nails continuously. So it is a bad habit. So uh, that is biting your nails. And yeah, can you identify one type of bad habit? Biting nails. Biting nails. Do you do it? No. No, I don't know, but right? So uh, she says she doesn't do it. But some, we have seen, I have noticed, there are some people who are involved in uh, this action. What do you call that? Bad habits. It is disgusting. But what do you mean by disgusting? Quite? Yes, we don't like it. Unpleasant. So it is a bad habit. Now let us move on to another bad habit. That is cracking knuckles. What do you mean by cracking knuckles? Now you have seen sometimes some people continuously crack their, the bends of their knuckles, you know knuckles, these are the knuckles, they continuously, they bend their knuckles. So what do you call that? Cracking mm -hmm. knuckles. And yeah, what do you call it? Cracking, Cracking knuckles. knuckles. It is also unpleasant. It is also disgusting. Now, we have seen sometimes some people, now they are seated on the first row or sometimes on the stage and continuously and they are doing it. They don't know that they are doing it. So what do we call this action? It is an involuntary action. And we are, what do you call that? Involuntary action. Involuntary action. What do you mean by involuntary? That is, without our knowledge, we are doing it. So, dear students, in this way, you can build up your vocabulary. You can write down these words so that you can write the essay after I have explained it. So, the second one now I am discussing is cracking knuckles. What is cracking knuckles? A twisting your the bends of the knuckles, the bends, now these are the bends, we are constantly twisting. So sometimes some people do it without them. So that is a bad habit, right? Now let us look at another thing, that is uh, here before that I have to show you when cracking knuckles the people create some noise we call it some popping sound, a crisp popping sound. It is a popping sound. So they create a popping sound. Sometimes it, it has a crisp popping sound. That therefore it becomes sometimes annoying, disgusting. Other people uh, may find it sometimes we can say uh, embarrassing situation, therefore uh, you must or we must avoid it. So now I would like to talk about picking your nose. What do you mean by picking your nose? Right? That is not you pick your nose, right? Picking your nose, dear students, is this. Now you have seen some people, they insert their fingers throughout the nostrils and they are digging for boogers. 
So do you know what bugles are? That is a new word for you to learn. I write it here. Bugles. Right? Bugles are the dirt that, is, that you, you find them that is settled in, inside your nose. So that dirt, dirt is settled. We call them bugles. Especially kids are doing it. Right? Involuntary. So if, if some kids are doing we must try to make them stop it. So sometimes even elderly people may be doing it. So it is again disgusting, unpleasant. So Andrea, what do you mean by picking your nose? Can you explain it in your own words? Digging for boogers. Yes. Digging for boogers. So what, what do people do? They insert their fingers through what? What do you call this place? No, nostrils. 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 Through nostrils they insert their fingers, they, make, they insert their fingers and make it move upwards. So it is disgusting. So they are doing it just to, for boogers. So you, le, you, le, you understand this word boogers, right? Picking your nose. So it is disgusting and it is a bad habit. Right. The next one is twirling hair. What do you mean by twirling hair? Dear students, normally this is mostly done by women because they have long hair and they constantly they twist the hair around their fingers. Sometimes they take a finger and they try to curl it. They twist it round. Suppose now you are talking to somebody and you say yes hmm, and yes it's of course you are doing it so it is, it is ugly if you, cons if you are constantly doing it uh, when you are talking to somebody so Andrea what is that bad habit what do you call it twirling hair twirling hair right because you must have some long hair and you twirl it you twist it round your finger. What do you mean by uh, twirling hair? Can you explain it? Twisting hair around the finger. Yes, twisting hair around the finger. It is a bad, bad habit. habit. Right. Now I would like to talk to you another thing that is slouching. Do you know what slouching is? Some people do it. That is dear students, you curve your body in an awkward manner. You curve your body in an awkward manner and it will be unpleasant. Now sometimes even you may keep it like this but mostly you curve your body or you stand like this. So some people without their knowledge involuntarily they are doing it. And yeah, what do you mean by slouching? Curving your shoulders. In an awkward way. Curving your shoulders shoulders. So it is a bad habit. So if you have that bad habit, try to get rid of it. See whether you are maintaining correct posture. Posture means now there is a way of keeping your body, movements. So that is another bad habit, slouching. So now we have talked about biting nails, cracking knuckles, picking your nose, twirling hair and slouching. We have another thing that is shaking hands and legs. Now you have seen some people, now uh, some people without they are not, some, sometimes when they are talking they may be shaking their hands in a fast manner. So it may be ugly. And you have seen some people when they are seated they always tap their feet. Sometimes when they are watching a film or watching a drama continuously for the three hours they may be tapping their feet. And the people who are seated close to you will find it embarrassing and it will be a trouble to them. So if you are doing if you are doing it, if you have that habit, try to get rid of sometimes we also have such habits. Without our knowledge, we may be shaking our legs, uh, tapping, our, uh, tapping our feet. So it is a bad habit. We don't think that we are doing something wrong. 
Therefore, we have to get rid of that. So, what do you mean by shaking hands and legs, Andrea? How can you explain that? Tapping your legs and shaking your hands. Yes, tapping your legs and shaking your ha hands uh, continuously without any purpose. You are just doing it. Right. Now, let us try to build up sentences. So, how can you make a sentence about biting nails? Can you make a sentence? Biting nails is disgusting when there are people around us. Yes. Biting nails. Now, biting nails is sing. Biting is singular. Therefore, biting nails is disgusting when people are around you. A good sentence. Can you make a sentence with cracking knuckles? Cracking knuckles is also bad because it makes a popping sound. Ah, cracking knuckles. Knuckles plural. Cracking is the uh, subject. So cracking knuckles is also disgusting because it creates a popping sound. Right. Picking your nose. Can you make a sentence? Picking your nose. Picking your nose is digging for the boogers inside your nose. Nose. Uh, so what is picking your nose is digging your fingers for the boogers inside yeah. the nose. Twirling hair. Twirling hair is mostly done by women. Done by women. What do you mean by twirling hair? Curling your hair around your finger. Yes, curling or twisting your hair around your finger. Slouching. Slouching is curving your shoulders in an awkward manner. Then shaking hands and legs. Shaking hands and legs is also a bad habit, which means you are tapping your hands and shaking, shaking your hands and tapping your feet. Right. So now let us put these things into a paragraph before we move on to the other part. So with the help of your teacher, can you just uh, uh, make a paragraph of uh, uh, this part? Yes, Andrea. As Mr. Hemachandra said, we can build some sentences based on the information given to you now. So shall we start uh, with one sentence? Some of the body-related bad habits are biting nails, cracking knuckles, picking your nose, twirling hair, slouching and shaking hands and legs. Can you read, repeat it? Some of the body-related bad habits are biting nails, cracking knuckles, picking your nose, twirling hair, slouching and shaking hands and legs. Right. Now yes. let us continue the other part. Yes, actually this is the kind of the introduction of the particular essay. So we are telling what are the bad habits of body-related bad habits. So then after that we can go to the body of the letter as yeah. Mr. Hemachandra mentioned earlier. Uh, yes, yes, Andrea. Biting nails is disgusting when somebody does it in public places. Cracking knuckles is also ugly as it creates a popping sound. Some people do it involuntarily even when they are at meetings. Picking your nose is digging for the boogers inside the nose, inserting your fingers through the nostrils. Twirling your hair is also a bad habit. This is mostly done by women. Slouching is curving your shoulders in an awkward manner. Another bad habit is shaking your hands and legs. Some people tap their feet continuously when they are seated. Right. Yes, Mr. Hemachandra. Here, actually, Andrea developed the body of the uh, essay, essay, particular essay. She described, my dear students, she described what, uh, what are the bad habits and what are the uh, bad things that, what are the actions that you do when you are uh, having this bad body related bad okay. habits. Okay. Yes. So now I have covered the first part that is about body related bad habits. Now dear students, now I would like to talk about behavior related bad habits. So dear students, even through our behavioral pattern, 
uh, we may make bad habits. So, I have written some, I would like to discuss one by one. One is cursing. What do you mean by cursing? Because you know some people when they are talking, they use obscene words. They, they use, we can say, annoying words, sometimes inappropriate words. So, uh, sometimes they say, uh, got am, or pumpkin heads, or jackass. So, like that, there are, they, are, they have got used to these things. So, that is very bad when you are at a meeting or maybe uh, at some place. Sometimes you may be talking to your friends, but other people are listening to it. Now we have seen some students, especially boys, they use cursing words, blaming words. When they are together, it may be due to peer group pressure. What do you mean by peer group pressure? They can eka eka peer group pressure. They may say anything. So they use cursing words. They, they do it automatically. And sometimes some people can't get rid of it. Even when they are talking to some person, they use these obscene words. So dear students, cursing is also a bad habit. Andrea, what do you mean by cursing? Using obscene or annoying words when we are talking to somebody. Yes, using obscene or annoying words, cursing. Right, now I would like to show you another one that is road rage. Dear students, what do you mean by road rage? Now, rage is you become very aggressive. You know, this is specially done by the drivers when they are on the road. They become aggressive. Now, when they see another person making, it may be a very, <coughs> I'm sorry, <coughs> it may be a slight error done by the other driver or other person. So, we call it road rage because some drivers, while they are driving, they may curse others, they may blame others. Sometimes they do continuously, they do constantly. It is very dangerous. Why? When you are on the road, you may be the cause for an accident. Therefore, on the road, you, have, you will have to pay attention not blaming the other people. So we have seen even in Sri Lanka, most drivers, not, not everybody, we can say most drivers, they try to find out the mistakes of others and blame them and they do it involuntarily. So what do you call it? Road rage. <coughs> Andrea, what do you mean by road rage? Trying to find uh... Mistakes, and you are cursing them, blaming others while you are driving, while you are uh, on the road. So it is a bad habit. <clears throat> I would like to introduce another one, being a slacker. What do you mean by being a slacker? That is, you always push on your work to somebody else. Keep pushing on into somebody else. Sometimes it, it happens. Sometimes, now if I ask you to bring, please bring me a glass of water, you say, hey mom, bring me a glass of water. Glass of water ka gain Right? You can see, we don't do it, we may ask somebody else to do it. Now sometimes in an office, the boss may tell you to do something, but uh, he may give it to another person to do it and very, in a very comfortable way he may move away. So what do you call that? Being a slacker. So if you keep on pushing your work to somebody else, we call it being a slacker and you are a slacker. Do you like to be a slacker? That is a bad habit. So Andrea, what do you mean by being a slacker? Pushing on work. To others. To others. Now, when somebody asks you to do something, what will you do? You will ask another person to do it. Sometimes your mother may ask you to do something. You may ask your sister to do it. Our students, our children do it or normally. So what do you call that dear students? 
being a slacker. slacker. Right. Uh, now we have described three, cursing, road rage, being a slacker. There's another thing, to procrastinate. Dear students, what do you mean by procrastinate? Procrastinate means you always pile up your work and you will never finish it. Right? You will never, you can't say never now. You always say later, later, I will do it later. So you will postpone your work. There are students when something homework is given, you say I will do it tomorrow and they will never do it. Postpone it. So what do you call that? Procrastinate or procrastination. It is extremely bad David, because as students you must not procrastinate. You must do your work on each day and complete it at the end of the day. Don't keep it for the next day. Andrea, can you explain what procrastination is? Piling or postponing your work. Do you procrastinate? Right. She says she doesn't do. Right. So because if you do it, you will never be able to get good marks at the exam. If you are a good student, you must never procrastinate or procrastinate. So you can learn that word. You can see now you are building your vocabulary. You can talk about it, you can write about it. So at the end you can write a very good essay using about 200 and 250 words. Very simple essay using these words. What you will have to do is put them into sentence. Now we will be doing it. The next one is fabi. This is a newly coined word. Make a you will not find it in the dictionary. This is a now I will show you how it has been coined. Coin can make alutema sandi vecha vachanaya. I will show you. This is phone plus snubbing. Phone plus snubbing. So here uh, this one and sniu snu have been removed. P H U B W B I N G fabbing. What do you mean by fabbing? This is a new word, newly coined word in this technological world, in this modern world. What is that? That is, you know, some people, the way they are using their phone, especially maybe smartphones, now they have a lot of applications when they are used, somebody is talking. He may be doing it, sending messages, or just uh, you operating in new various kinds of applications. So what do you call that? Fobbing. You learn that new word. Phone plus snubbing. Snubbing means you just reject something. You, you, you don't pay interest to you don't pay interest to the other person. Right? Therefore, it is a very bad, trust me, it is a very bad habit. Sometimes you may be at a meeting, an important uh, person may be making a speech and you are just sending messages, you are just operating it. Extremely bad. So what do you call this? Fabi. Andrea, can you explain it? Operating your phones without paying attention to other work. So what do you mean by Fabi? How has this word been coined? Phone plus nubbing. Uh, phone plus nubbing. So that is the way the people, especially the young crowd, the young people, you know, especially the, even the, the students, you can say, now sometimes in some schools, while uh, the teachers teaching, they may, use, they may use it. Sometimes in schools, they are not allowed to use the phones, but however, they take them into school and they do it. So fobbing is extremely a bad habit. So now, dear students, uh, now we have talked about it. Now let us try to build sentences about each one. Andrea, can you make a sentence for the word cursing? Yes? Some people are always using obscene words when they are talking to others. Ah, some people are always using obscene words when they are talking to others. Now, I'll teach you another word. Now, when we use the word always, it is, that word is, we call it uh, an adverb of frequency. 
if we say he always comes here oh nitra mami he no eka samanya dhyak hai bhai api me always kiya neka ing form me kakke ke duot eke teruma it is it may be a bad habit right he is always scratching his uh, head so that is a bad habit so just to describe bad habit you can use this he is always uh, and you can use the ing form he is always doing something right his car is always giving trouble so now let us make another sentence with the road rage yes andrea road rage is a very bad habit that may create a dangerous situation can you say it again road rage is a very bad habit that may create a dangerous situation a dangerous situation it will become dangerous because they lose their concentration on the road they have made they are blaming somebody else so it is very dangerous can you make a sentence about being a slacker if you keep pushing on your work to others it will become a bad habit known as uh, being a slacker uh, being a slacker so andrea what do you mean by being a slacker push yes. on work yes to you others. keep pushing on your work to somebody else the next one to procrastinate procrastination is a bad habit as you pile up your work yes we some people pile up their work they will uh, not finish it always they say never then fubbing fubbing has become an extremely bad behavioral pattern as most of the young people operate their phones without paying attention to others who are with them right now uh, let us write a paragraph using behavior related bad habits yes uh, mrs yes now here earlier we have been talking about body related bad habits so now here we can separate the paragraphs when we start the new uh, paragraph so actually this paragraph is based on behavior related bad habits so andrea now we are going to make sentences based on this particular topic behavior re related bad habits yes can we start with uh, with the sentences andrea behavior related bad habits are also disgusting some of the behavior related bad habits are cursing road rage being a slacker procrastination and fubbing yes so behavior related bad habits are also disgusting some of the behavior related bad habits are cursing road rage being a slacker procrastination and fubbing actually children here we are again kind of an giving an introduction of the bad habits bad, bad, the second part behavior related bad yes, habits the introduction for that part. for that now we are going to the body of the particular essay we are going to describe what and what these bad habits are andrea some people are always using obscene words when they are talking to others road rage is a very bad habit that may create a dangerous situation many drivers do it on the road if you keep pushing on your work to others it will become a bad habit known as being a slacker Procrastination is a bad habit as you pile up your work. You never finish it. Fubbing has become an extremely bad behavioral pattern as most of the young people operate their phones without paying attention to the others who are with them. Okay. So that is a paragraph about behavior related bad habits. Now let us build up the whole essay on this. again let us look at the our topic is bad habits so we can give an introduction to bad habits i think you will remember it and we are can you read the introduction again many people have bad habits a bad habit is a negative behavior pattern 
There are two types of bad habits, namely body-related bad habits and behavior-related bad habits. Right. Now again I will describe very brief, actually briefly, what these body-related bad habits are. Biting nails, that some people bite their nails constantly, it is disgusting, unpleasant. Then cracking knuckles. And what do you mean by cracking knuckles? Twisting the bends of your knuckles. What do you mean by cracking knuckles? Twisting the bends of the knuckles. Uh, twisting the bends of the knuckles. So it is a bad habit it, it, because it creates a popping sound so it is disgusting and unpleasant. The next one, picking your nose. Picking your nose is also bad because some people insert their fingers up through the nostrils for the boogers inside. Boogers, uh, you know, uh, that is uh, the dirt uh, inside the nose. Then twirling hair. And yeah, what do you mean by twirling hair? Twisting uh, your hair around the finger. Twisting your hair around the, fin the fingers. Then slouching that is uh, curving your shoulders in an awkward way and shaking hands and legs some people keep on shaking their hands or tapping their legs then again quickly we'll go through this one behavior related bad habits cursing that is blaming others often using obscene words road rage is uh, Blame, while you are driving, you blame others for their mistakes and being a slacker is keep pushing on your work to others and you don't do it, you are very comfortable. To procrastinate is just, uh, that is, you will never finish your work, you will pile up your work, you are always, you say always, later, I will do it later. Fobbing, the newly coined word that is phone plus nubbing, some people do their activity, they, they pay their attention to the operations on the phone without uh, giving their concern for the other thing. Now let us read the whole essay and Andrea will read it now so you can see it. Many people have bad habits. A bad habit is a negative behavior pattern. There are two types of bad habits, namely body-related bad habits and behavior-related bad habits. Some of the body-related bad habits are biting nails, cracking knuckles, picking your nose, twirling hair, slouching and shaking hands and legs. Biting nails is disgusting when somebody does it in public places. Cracking knuckles is also ugly as it creates a popping sound. Some people do it involuntarily even when they are at meetings. Picking your nose is digging for the boogers inside the nose, inserting your fingers through the nostrils. Twirling your hair is also a bad habit. This is mostly done by women. Slouching is curving your shoulders in an awkward manner. Another bad habit is shaking your hands and legs. Some people tap their feet continuously when they are seated. Behavior-related bad habits are also disgusting. Some of the behavior-related bad habits are cursing, road rage, being a slacker, procrastination and fubbing. Some people are always using obscene words when they are talking to others. Road rage is a very bad habit that may create a dangerous situation. Many drivers do it on the road. If you keep pushing on your work to others, it will become a bad habit known as being a slacker. Procrastination is a bad habit as you pile up your work. You never finish it. Fubbing has become an extremely bad behavioral pattern as most of the young people operate their phones without paying attention to the others who are with them. Right. Now we must conclude the essay in this way. Now you can see how we have concluded it. Yes, Andrea, can you read that? We have many bad habits. 
we must recognize them and try to get rid of them as they degrade our position. Uh, so that is, uh, that is an essay and we have used about 250 words. I think you also will be able to write an essay on bad habits and you will be able to write an essay on even other topics and try to find out details and facts about it. Yes. 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 So dear students, so, to, so today we have been talking about how to build an essay. So we talked about how you gather information, how you organize your information, then how you are presenting your introduction of the essay how you are building the body of an essay and then finally the conclusion or the, the end of the essay. So like this, if you follow these methods, I hope or my, Mr. Hemachandra and myself and the teachers, we, we, we hope that we can build and produce a good essay in your exam. So with that hope in our mind, so we'll be concluding our lesson for today and we will be meeting you next Tuesday at the same time through Jatika Pasala through Rupwahini channel. Good day to you.